in brief. As the Commissioner for Science and Technology in Enugu State, we know and we know that this government is decisive on issues concerning science and technology. The first item on the agenda of this government is job creation. And the first bullet point there is skill acquisition. How do we do that? We need the ICT principally. I wish to inform us that uh, a very formidable decision has been taken by this government in approving the action plan of the Ministry of Science and Technology for the next three years. This was graciously debated and approved by the New State Executive Council the last sitting of 2015. They include issues on ICT. We have agreed and given this ministry the approval to execute, plan, issues and policies on science and technology. We have also agreed in this state to develop what we call technology learning cities in each of the three senatorial zones in this state. And that is why I will invite our friends. We're talking about learning, we're talking about capability, we're talking about how to get the knowledge. We also have, among other things, that is not science-based, but has to do on getting our youths gainfully employed. We have looked at the coal camp. The coal camp area has been there in existence for years. Many of us who have passed through Enugu, grew up there, know that it is a technology-based site. We want to put up what we call Venus recycling system to make sure that those old technologies that we're trying to use in making nuts, making uh, recycling, grinding machines and so on, we want to put them in a learning stage whereby every of the activities is mod uh, uh, modified to suit the technology we have and make sure that the skill they have there do not die. Sometimes if you go there to look for a path, they will tell you that the man who has been doing it has died. We want to make sure that that technology is transferred to the new generation using modern technology techniques. So ladies and gentlemen, we have listened to various speakers here. We have learned about knowledge infrastructure. It's all about ICT. We have also learned about ICT supported learning system. It is very clear, but how do we do it? We need the support of our, our, our friends here. Uh, Chief Leo Staneke made mention of how he came and he went back. I will, on behalf of Enugu State Government, invite you to make a second missionary journey this time around. And we will tell you that the government of Enugu State is in charge. The Ministry of Science and Technology is in charge. And we will make sure that what input you put this time around will be properly recognized. You will not get back your check to us. Rather, those things will manifest in training our youths making sure that the economy of state, of Enugu state, is in line with the best practices in the world, and at the same time, increase our IGR. So ladies and gentlemen, we, 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 I want to make some assertion too. You asked whether the ICT hub is part of the free trade zone. I, I want to inform you that there is an allocation in the free trade zone by uh, my friend here, specifically dedicated to ICT. So you can take advantage of that too, to bring in the technology we need, leverage on it. There are so much benefits he has told us because of the PPP uh, the situation and the nature of this particular uh, free trade zone. You, you we want to invite all of us that it is there waiting for us. And we have all known and we have all heard that Enugu State is the most investor-friendly state in Nigeria. So we take all this advantage and making sure that the government we have now is a friendly government. We have a human face. We can make things work.
we have technocrats, we have the brain, we have technology savvy hands already in our state. All we need to do is to harness them, put them together for a better tomorrow in the new state. Thank you very much. Uh, that was Engineer Greg Nadu, Commissioner for Science and Technology, Endogu State, uh, responding to uh, the presentations of uh, investors in the ICT, media, and entertainment sector of Endogu State. Please, another round of applause for him.